welcome to month two of my third time a Roaccutane. If you would like to see how my skin was at the very beginning, there is a video for that. Today is day 31, the first day on 40 milligrams. Last month I did 30 milligrams. I've coped with the um, side effects quite well. My skin's been dry, but I have been using um, the Emma Hardy Cleansing Balm morning and night. I have been using the Origins um, Overnight Intensive Thirst, Extreme Thirst uh, as a moisturiser day and night. I've gone down to a lighter foundation um, and I've also been mixing in some liquid highlighter just to give me a bit of life back to my skin. Um, my eyes have been really dry and so I've had some drops from the optician and some stuff to put in my eyes at night time. Um, it's kind of like a Vaseline type consistency but just to put some moisture back into my eyes. My hair before I was having to wash it um, every other day, it was getting really greasy and now I can leave it for, well I don't know, I can probably wash it twice a week now, maybe even once a week if I really wanted to hold on to it. Um, and that is major, that is my favourite thing so far because I've got a lot of thick hair and it takes me a long time to do my hair. Um, dry, you know, the whole process is like, ugh, gotta wash my hair again. So I'm loving that so far. Um, I'm hoping that there will be an improvement in my skin. But this is how it's looking at the beginning of month two. Day 31. Oh yeah, my scalp's been a little bit flaky, dry, so I'm going to put some hair oil in. As I was trying to say last night before my battery ran out, um, my scalp's been quite dry and flaky so I put some hair oil in last night and I've started to use Nizaral shampoo as well to see if that helps at all. Uh, but today is day 32. Day 33. Day 34. Day 35. I feel like this is starting to go down now a little. <laughs> so far I know it's only been five days on 40 milligrams but I haven't felt that the side effects have been any worse so I hope it continues to con Day 37. Maybe I was speaking too soon yesterday. Day 38. I don't know how you can get a spot all the way around there. But I can apparently. And this thing just started leaking it went like a baggy thing it's completely flat it's just black now it's day 39 i've just got out of the shower and noticed all this dry skin on my arm it's quite itchy i have just put moisturizer on but yeah oh. Today is day 40. By the time I had gone to the pharmacist on Saturday, that rash had completely gone. So bizarre. Um, he was really, really useful though, and he said to me that if it gets any worse or spreads any further, then I do need to contact the dermatologist straight away. Um, any flu-like symptoms, headaches, um, anything like that with it is a cause for concern, um, but not to put anything on it. 
Um, so, I just have to keep an eye on that. Uh, I also asked him about supplements because if you'd have seen my video from last month there was a little confusion over what to avoid and he said vitamin A, avoid vitamin A so I could take a multivitamin but avoid avoid vitamin A um, and this is what my skin is looking like it, it is getting flatter so there's no sticky out bit there anymore I mean this is quite major, it's been there for a while and these are new but other than that I feel like we're getting somewhere although I remember last time all my pores seeming to just shrink and that hasn't really happened I remember my my pores just having this really closed off feeling but maybe I can't really remember the time scale of it perhaps um, all of this rubbish needs to come out first and then that happens after I hope it's going to happen this time <laughs> I've just done my makeup and wanted to demonstrate to you how nothing will stick to my nose. And it's been like this ever since Roaccutane. Today is day 42. I can't remember if I filmed yesterday so I'm sorry if I didn't. Not really that much to report. It's day 43. I feel like this side is getting flatter apart from these, although they're not getting any worse, but this side, more lumps and bumps are appearing. Nothing will stick to my nose still, <laughs> but I have uh, found a new technique with my makeup to help that stay on unless something happens to my nose, like when I get a kiss from my other half. I kind of do a leaned back thing so that my nose doesn't squidge up against his because otherwise my nose is very red as well. Um, I'm going to try and get hold of that Body Shop exfoliator that I love um, in case it is that which is causing the non-stickiness. Um, I just don't ever see a Body Shop anymore so I guess I'll have to order online which is what I do with everything else. I don't know why I'm being so stupid about it. <laughs> Although I said yesterday this side was getting better, this really hurts. <sighs> My scalp's been getting really dry and flaky, so I've just, like once a week I've been putting some oil in my scalp. It's really nice and relaxing, this oil that I have. It's actually marketed as a hair stimulant. That's what it says on the bottle, hair stimulant. It's by a brand called Ikarov, or it might be a U, I-K-A-R-O-U, or it might be V, um, and it is just all natural, and although it's a hair stimulant, the ingredients are like nice relaxing ones, um, almond oil, so that's for the moisture, and then it has essential oils of rosemary, lavender, bergamot, ylang ylang, and then it has ex extracts of milfoil, I don't know what that is, nettle, Nastusium, Nastusium? I, I can see the flower but I don't know how you say it and rosemary so um, it's nice and calming, nice and moisturising hopefully it's doing something I don't know but I don't think it's doing anything wrong and it's nice and relaxing when I'm going to bed It's day 46, definitely dealing with some dryness going on up here and I'm using that oil and I'm using Nizarel as well before shampooing my hair normally so I'm not really sure what else to do Day 47 Well, it's day 50 today. I've made it this far. I do feel like my skin is getting a bit better, although it has been absolutely shocking. It is flattening down. Um, my arms are so dry and itchy. My eyes have been dry, but I do have the drops from the optician, so they've been helping. I've been putting some um, body oil onto my arms in the hopes that that's gonna help. Um, but particularly after a warm shower, really itchy, and every evening, really itchy. 
I am seeing the dermatologist in a week, so I'll talk to them about it. Um, the other thing is everything not sticking to my nose, but I think that's an exfoliation issue. Um, and I do have some more of my favourite one on the way. I thought I would just show you my arm. And it's like that on both sides. And I think I've got it a bit on my back starting now as well. And in fact, this part of my hand, super dry and itchy and sore. Day 51! Although this is still very much there, it is so much flatter. This side in particular is almost flat. This side is still a little bit bumpy. Day 52 and this arrived, which I've been using morning and night. I think you are meant to use it twice a week, but last time I was on Rakuten, I used it every morning and every night. Um, in the evening, what I do is I use it as like a first wash. Um, and then I use a balm cleanser, I use the Emma Hardy one after that, and then the same thing in the morning. Um, but I put this straight on top of makeup, and it's really, really fine. It's called Glow Boosting Microderm Abrasion. It's really fine and gentle, and I really like it, and hopefully this means that my nose will allow things to be stuck to it from now. It's day 53. This came today, which is really painful, and these are still quite raised. But this side is quite good, and the neck, quite good. Day 54. Day 55. Day 57. Day 58. I have been to see the dermatologist and she was pleased with the progress that um, my skin was making. I'm very pleased with it as well. She has kept me on 40 milligrams for another month because of my arms, how dry they are. Um, she said that it is an eczema just because my body is being dried out so much and um, she's prescribed me Umavate cream, which I need to use once or twice a day for a couple of weeks. They are really sore and itchy, so I'm very happy with staying on 40 milligrams and I'm quite confident in her. I feel like I found someone really good. Um, she knows that it's my third time on Rakuten and she said like this one needs to make a difference. We don't want you going on it for a fourth time. And I feel quite confident that, you know, she's saying to me, you need to chase up. Why haven't you had your appointment through yet for your polycystic ovary scan? Um, we need to find the cause of what's happening. So maybe we'll get there. <laughs> But um, in general, the skin's feeling much flatter. Um, I'm not sure if I said it in this video or the last video, but I have been using... Uh, double wear is what I used to wear. <laughs> Camera's heavy. <laughs> Estee Lauder Double Wear is my old foundation, and that used to go shiny within a couple of hours. Well, that's far too heavy and matte for me now, so I switched to Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation, and I'm mixing it with a liquid illuminator, like it's meant to be um, a strobe. It's the Makeup Revolution one I'm using. This. Um, liquid highlighter. Which is quite highlightery. I might show you in a minute once I put it all over my face. I tend to use it as a base. But I'm finding that that's a little bit too much as well. And I feel like my skin is actually at a point now where I could use something a bit more dewy. Um, so I'm going to investigate. I've never had to buy a dewy foundation for myself. So... Um, I've always been the kind of person that would love to wear, when I worked for Charlotte Tilbury, I would have loved to have worn Light Wonder foundation, so I might go and see if that works for me, and obviously I'll need a bit of concealer for the scars, but in terms of my skin, 
it is so much better. And this is my base. So, uh, <laughs> otherwise I'm a little bit too flat and I need a bit of shininess coming through. And I can't believe as an oily skin person, this would be my worst freaking nightmare. But um, it's actually working all right. See, I'm not too iridescent now. And I even had to put a highlighter over the top of the foundation because I need some life in my skin. I don't think it actually looks too, too bad. I haven't used any concealer. I just don't want it to get too heavy because the foundation is like a medium to full coverage anyway. I think it looks okay. Day 59. Day 60 today. The last day of month two. I have a new spot. And two new here. So I will continue to film every day and my progress until the very end. So make sure you check back next month for the update. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions please feel free to ask. If you're going through the same, hang on in there, it will be worth it in the end.